gonna be so nice to have all my stuff back. Oh, heck yeah. So the storage is near Courtney's house or something, or what? No, the storage is Courtney's house. Oh, did not know that. So being my last day here, I brought this suitcase so we can pack some of your stuff. I can take a piece of you with me, I guess, you know? I'm gonna yeah. miss you, though. I know, I'm gonna miss you, too. So Branwen and I, we haven't consummated our marriage yet, <laughs> if that's anybody's business. But Branwen is a bit obsessed with getting to her storage unit and getting her stuff. But I understand. I mean, she wants to get her life going again. So, um, I love you. I love you too, baby. I thought you forgot. What? Why would you say that stuff? It, like, takes away the value of when you do that. Sorry, I've just been feeling weird about stuff. You know, we had our, really our first argument yesterday, uh, Courtney, and it bothered me a lot. Just want to make sure that we're good, that's all. We are good. Okay. I need more kisses. Like, I'm, I'm gonna try and do better, but I just, I've never really been super intimate or like romantic with uh, anybody, I don't think. I met Courtney a long time ago. Hi. Oh, <laughs> His uncle is Jessica's mom's longtime boyfriend. Oh, yeah, thank you. So he's kind of like part of our family. OK, so I'm going to help you a little bit, OK? OK, please. What can I do? <laughs> um, do you want to go chat with him or something? Give you guys some time to catch up. Yeah, yeah. Sure. All right. Let me know if you need anything, babe. So like, are you ready for a little bit of long distance? Yeah, it, it is. It's a bit stressing. It's like, uh, Brandon seems to have mostly guy friends. Not really. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to get used to that. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Bro. So, have you guys ever been dated or been close or anything before? Or No, no. we've never dated or been anything like that. We've been strictly friends all the time. I've known her, so you don't have to worry about like that, you know? I don't know, man. It's like, you, you text her a lot, you know? And I, I know it's a delicate subject because I don't want to, I, I don't want to overstep my boundaries as far as your friendship goes either. But she's also my wife, and there's those concerns, you know. So until you're secure with yourself, I can't call my friend? Just, just ask you to just hold back just a little bit. I'm used to seeing Brandon with more of an aggressive individual, the one that takes charge, you know. Chaz seems very insecure, and Brandon's going to chew him up and spit him out if he keeps acting like that. That um, Chaz is probably thinking, what the <laughs> Yeah. No, I don't well, know. he's kind of, and it's annoying because he's kind of jealous. Like, every dude, he's always like, do I have something to worry about? Well, I, I, I can see where he gets jealous because Courtney's the kind of guy that you instantly vibe with. He's charismatic. But it's, it's everyone, like, anyone, you know, like. Yeah, yeah. But that sucks because that's, like, already trust issues and it's just so new. I'm kind of uh, hurt and disappointed, you know, that I'm losing a good friend. Here's this stranger that just comes walking into somebody's life and, and now all of a sudden is just taking my friend and bringing her to Kentucky, you know what I mean? You know? Yeah, but, you know, it's... I'm trying to keep her away from going back into the lifestyle that she's... Oh, so now you're saying I'm trash. I'm not saying you're trash, man. I'm well, just saying... you're saying that <laughs> lifestyle, though. Need, I just need some time to get her into living again and doing the, going down the right path. And uh, I'm not taking your friend away. I'm just adding to the family, I hope. I miss you. I know. And I, like, really want you to live with me. I mean, I don't know. Like, honestly, he has all these reasons why he thought it would be better for me to, like, live there and, like, get away from the lifestyle. But Arian started dancing, and it was just so, like, important to me to make everything right, be a better role model. Just, I don't know. I am not so sure this is what you want. You're not even sure what the it is yet. But it starts with you getting out there and being independent and, and girl power. You know what I'm saying? Like, be a strong woman. If that's what Arian needs to see you do. Get out there and do the on your own two feet. You know what I mean? Jessica letting me know that I don't have to move to Kentucky and be with Chaz just to be successful. To me, that's just another, like, tear on my heart. We'll see, like, what happens. I don't, I don't know, like, now I have my best friend in the whole world and my daughter basically begging me to stay. I love you, too. I miss you so much. Like, I don't even know what I'm going to do without you.
Well, it's been super good having you here. I don't even know like what I could have got done without you. This is our last day together. I mean, kind of hope we can spend a little bit of alone time before I have to say goodbye to you. Yeah. Yeah. Intimacy sober, it's not something that I feel like I've done in as long as I can remember. I know Chaz will feel a lot better if we consummate our marriage. You excited? Yeah. <laughs> cool. And then here's some stuff I brought for you, too. Thank you. Yeah, Very sexy. Yeah, yeah, you know, just for whenever you're ready, and of course. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Love you. The last time I was really able to have sex was the day I got arrested, which was May of 2020. This is, this is where the magic should happen. <laughs> <laughs> Other guys I've been with are more into just getting high and having sex. I'm so happy to be here with you. I am too. I'm so happy you're here finally. And there's not like all this other emotional stuff involved. Now I'm just nervous. <laughs> I don't know. No, we just hang out. I don't want I don't want our time together me being a ball of nerves, so I'm good with that. Yeah, let's get used to each other. I'm in a hurry. Yeah. We've waited two years, so I'm good. <laughs> no, it's not that. I just, I mean, just period. Yeah. I just, like, I'm awkward. Like, I don't know, like, when the last time, like, I really sat down and had, like, a conversation, you know, with someone, except for, like, when we're on the phone. Right. And it's basically just, like, telling you about my day, so. Exactly. I just want you to be happy and comfortable. Yeah. You lay down. I'm just gonna cuddle up a bit. Uh, there, is that better? Mm-hmm. I won't, I won't force myself on you, I promise. You're not forcing yourself on me. <laughs> okay, good. Oh, I love you, baby. I love you, too. <laughs> so happy to be here. I just... Yeah. My anxiety is so bad. Do you need to uh -huh. stand up? you need some cool air? Yeah. I'm so nervous. Like, right now, I'm going to cry. <laughs> I'm having, like, awkward intimacy. <sighs> right. you want some water or something? No. I'm, like, trying to relax, and I can't. I don't know why. <sighs> I don't know. Come on, come on. It's okay. Like, usually, like... I do drugs and I feel good and I feel sexy and now I'm sober and I don't know like what to do with myself and I'm so awkward and nervous. No, it's okay. No, we don't have to do anything. I don't want you to do anything yet. I know, but I like, I want to. I mean, like, I want to with you. I don't know like, what's wrong with me. I am in no rush and there's no pressure, okay? I promise you that. I feel like, like I'm a weirdo or something. Other people don't don't cry mm. when they want to have sex. It's weird. Well, it's okay. I accept you as you are. You're the most amazing person I've ever met. Thank and you. I'm happy you're my wife. I'm so happy you're my husband. <laughs> Chaz is being super patient with me through all of this, and I appreciate it so much. I just want to go home and unpack my stuff and go to bed. I feel fortunate to have him in my life. That's why it's gonna be super difficult for me to choose between Chess and my daughter. Thank you. Basically, should I move to Kentucky or stay here? I've been in a long distance relationship with Branwyn for a long time. After just a week together, we go back to having a long distance relationship again. We are gonna come back soon. Yeah, yeah. Bye. Bye, sweetie. Have a good night. All right. I'm hoping that it's not a bad idea to leave. I love you. Love you, too.